Okay, hi back again to new tutorial about Blender. Um, today we make a um, uh, car rig, uh, better say a uh, rig or wheel. So we start Blender and go to the left view. We are now at left autographic view and now we start our mesh building so we take a cylinder and make them here with the words on 20 because 32 is too much rotate in y 90 degrees so we have it from front so then we scale it in the x like on tires okay so now we need to add bones uh, to rotate uh, this uh, tire and steer them so we need to add a bone we add an amateur single bone this bone is behind our object so we go to this option here x-ray from the amateur then you see that through the object okay now we go in the edit mode of this bone click down here to the bottom of this bone that's called the root the other one is the tip and you can extrude now like you know it from mesh with e to extrude and can place there another bone so okay uh, then we need a steering bone when you think you want to steering the car uh, you need something that rotated in that direction so we copy this bone with shift D and bring it in front okay wonderful then we duplicate this bone with shift D and bring them up okay so um what should it all be that is the main car bone where we later parent the, the completely car on. that is for steering that the uh, angle will translate it to the the wheel and that is the rotator for the wheel okay so we go on uh, we have now to connect these bones in the right um, steps. Uh, best is when we um, name these uh, bones, because later we don't know which bone is which. So when we press N, you see this panel here, and there is the name of the bone. And we name that, name that the rotator 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 and it is bone number one so this is a steering bone steering bone two then we have here the turn bone turn bone it's number three and that's the top main bone top main bone wonderful uh, so we speaking before uh, we must now connect them parent them uh, so we start with the rotator and parent them to uh, the steering click both with shift control P and keep offset wonderful Next is to get this uh, this bone, the number two, uh, to the top bone. So first this, next this, control P, keep offset. So they are connected. Then the third part is um, to get this front panel to the uh, front bone <laughs> to the main bone and parent them to with keep offset okay 
and that was the first part we come now to the next part we must now rig them that means um, we go in the post mode we are in edit mode now we go in the post mode and there we can set constraints that is here this bone with a chain uh, there you can set constraints and uh, we must uh, set a constraint on this um, rotator because he should move when this main button moves uh, main bone moves so that needs a uh, transformation uh, constraint that means when this bone moves in this axis he should rotate okay so what we need is our main bone as a target that is our top main bone he should extrapolate it not one time she should she sh uh, he should make it um, every time so okay and um, the next one is then the source should be rotate this bone should be rotate in the y-axis and that means we need here a minus two and here a two minimum maximum okay we want that from the um, the x-axis from the source object should be like the y-axis from the hour okay now we go to the uh, destination object uh, on the destination object uh, we change not all this other stuff there we need to um, make the rotation uh, and make them on the X minimum 360 degrees like a completely circle and here minus 360 not more not less that's correctly uh, then we have here the space that this bone goes as the world space but we want to transfer that to the local space so we click here local space and um, I think I must look a moment. I think this first one must be in the in the location I think. Can't be also. Okay, we will see. Uh, next local space we have. Now we go to the constraint with a track two. That means that is from the wheel the steering button where the 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 wheel moves left or right. Yeah, when you drive. Uh, so we must uh, track them to this. This would be the steering bone, and the wheel moves like he moves. So we click here on the steering bone and give them a constraint, an uh, track to constraint. So we say this bone should track to this bone. So we give them here the armature and that is the turn bone three. And that is all we need to do there. Okay then um, we must limit the rotation of this one uh, because we can steering with them um, like the wheel later moves uh, so it can't be more than 360 degrees so we need a limiter for it uh, so it can't happen that he spins over or something else yeah so we need a limit and we limit uh, in a lock location yes and in the set axis because he turns in the set axis so that is correctly good then uh, at last um, we must parent the the wheel 
the mesh from the wheel to the rotor bone. Um, because when you see that now, nothing happens. We need to parent it on this object. So we go in the post mode and with shift you can select this bone here. There's a rotor bone and say she should connect it with the control P as a bone. So now he moves with the whole object. So um, now I must have a look here. Here must be minus two and two. So extrapolate the rotation and this axis is okay. Yeah, and you see the wheel moves when we go. Yeah. Uh, I make it a little bit uh, easier to see when we extrude that in. Oh, sorry, one back. Uh, only the front face maybe scale in and we take some color so you can see better that it turns uh, make this black and then i select each second one and give them black material so you see it better and you see it moves forward when we go forward with the car test later will be the car and when we um, steering them, they will steer at that direction you want, and you can drive there, and it drives there. Wonderful! Thank you to watching this tutorial. Hope I see your car next. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye.